Hello my gorgeous plantful people, my name is Yulia and this is channel all about plants and plenty things. So if you are into that kind of stuff, you're welcome to join me. And even if you are not, as I always say, and you are extremely bored online and you have nothing else to see, join me anyway. Maybe you start to love plants or propagating or taking cuttings or who knows what. You never know. And as you may see, I have empty planter here and I have a bunch of cuttings with beautiful roots and these are cuttings of Hoya bibicalis. I have mature plant and I took one wine and cut her in pieces and I was careful to get with every piece one node that's the way you propagate this plant and on each node you actually can get these beautiful roots I'm not sure if you can see, but she's really prolific grower, in my opinion. She gives roots so fast. I'm not sure if you can see, this is just one node and so many roots in two weeks. So I think that's pretty fast. And it's even faster if you take and consider that it's autumn. So. Here it is. Here is cutting with just one leaf, if you can see. And I have oops, a bunch of those. So today they are ready. And I will plant them in this basic potting mix mixed with a little bit of perlite because all my Hoyas are in that mix and they like that. So I will do the same for this one. They act similar as succulents, so they don't like to be to have wet feet so you have to keep that in mind and give them well drained soil mix and all, be, all will be fine and actually I decided to plant these cuttings separately from the mother plant because I think that mother plant took over of her pot completely that roots are all around so I want to give this little babies better chances to grow and in a time I will transfer them to the original pot with the mother plant just to get more bushier and more beautiful plant and yeah this is what I planned to do <laughs> because like I said I'm scared that this mother plant has taken over and they won't have good chances and enough space for their their little roots so I think this is better option for me and I have few Hoyas already but I'm not a collector I don't collect Hoyas I know how huge fast around Hoyas is online currently but I'm still not on that train I'm still not that into Hoyas, I don't know why I collect snake plants, as you know if you watched any of my videos, but Hoyas for now not so much, I like them, they are beautiful, there are some specimens that are gorgeous, but I don't collect them, and I just get the ones that I find most attractive at that time, and that the ones that are not too expensive, if I'm, if I have to be honest, because I always buy plants on a budget, so I don't want to spend huge amounts of money on some plants that I don't know if they are even gonna survive in my environment. So that's why I don't buy rare plants and plants that needs lots of humidity because I don't own humidifier and yeah I'm trying to do it my way <laughs> I don't have even a grow light so like I said I just choose plants that can survive in my environment and I think that's the best option for me I don't want to be stressed out if plant, 
plant starts to die on me because of environment that they are in because I just don't want to stress out about plants so this is a great option people always say that you have a green thumb or you have I don't know how what's the opposite of that maybe black thumb or something like that but no no I think that it's just about choosing right plants for the environment that you have and this one is a little bit awkward I will try and put her like this so we will see what will end up from this I'm hoping that they will all grow and that they all will be fine because like I said I really want to have bushier mother plant so we will see i will keep you updated about this one but i really hope so that this will be fine and i didn't even count how much how many cuttings i have i think one two three four five five or six now i can't tell because i buried this this notes so i can see but it's not that important even if half survive i will be pleased and happy i really like these basic hoyas for some reason i have crimson princess also and that's the weirdest one i would say that i have with most color <laughs> if you can say and i have retusa and that's also so weird to me it doesn't even look like Hoya I think I will have to make a video about my Hoya collection if you can even call this collection because I have four of them <laughs> so I guess it's not a collection but I will film it just to show you how they look and what I got what I find attractive <laughs> Because, like I said, I like basic plants, so it's nothing too special, too rare or too expensive. I always have just basic plants because they are doing best in my environment and in my space. So, play it wisely, you may say. I'm playing it wisely. And here it is. Not much for now, but I bet in a month or two I will have something to show you, much more to show you. We will see. With my experience with Hoyas, I noticed that they are really easy to propagate. So that's why I'm pretty confident that this will all turn out beautifully. And yeah, that was all. Thank you so much for watching this short video i hope you like plants and even if you are not that you will start to love them because they are beautiful it's nice to have them all around it's it's natural it's what we are supposed to be surrounded with i guess so thank you so much for watching and see you next time goodbye